we've had a number of you ask for a tour of our coach. Yeah, we've been in it uh, two years, almost two years full time. Had it about a year and a half prior to that. Yep. Been, we were part timing. So we've had it about three and a half years and we absolutely love it. We do. It's a DRV 38 RSSA. It is 38 foot of living space and the outside goes from tip to toe. It is 40 feet long with uh, four slides. That's right. And we love it. Absolutely love it. We do. And it's going to be sad when we have to change it out. And yeah. Get something that, you know, is going to be different than what we're used to. So a number of you have asked about the inside and wanted to take a tour. So we're going to give you a tour today and show you what our coach is like. So stick around. Well, welcome to our home. Hey, <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Well, we're glad you made it. It's about 400 square feet of living. We have the living room, dining room, and the kitchen. And of course, the wonderful coffee bar behind you. Anyway, this is a nice space that we can entertain people when they come and visit. It's a great area for when the grandkids come and visit. The couch here pulls out into a queen size bed and it is large and they love it. And up above the couch is bunch of storage area. Storage space up here. It's deep. And a nice big picture window to look out. It's kind of dirty right now, but we haven't been able to wash our rig because they won't let us do it here. Anyway, windows everywhere, cross breeze. It's perfect. And we come on over here and there's more storage up here and it's just enough storage for everything that you need to go full time. They're deep, they're wide, and they're perfect. And this is our theater seating. It's recliners. Both of them are recliners. There's space here for all of our um, remote controls and of course drinks holds the drinks. Yeah, they're really comfortable. They're all leather. Yes. Very, very comfortable. We spend a lot of time in these recliners mm -hmm. watching other YouTube channels. That's right. And ours. <laughs> and ours. <laughs> <laughs> the entertainment area. Big 50 inch screen TV. We needed a sound bar, so Jim picked us up a sound bar. Yeah, they had this coach wired from the factory with surround sound speakers and uh, a huge 7.1 surround sound system that was just big and bulky and heavy and it got hot. Sat in those cupboards, took up a lot of real estate in the cupboards. And so we took out the surround sound, we took out the stereo system, um, and we decided to go with the sound bar. That's what most of the manufacturers are going with now is a sound bar. And, uh, but a big TV, we, um, we decided to, uh, to put in our own Alexa. Mm -hmm. And so she, uh, we get to play music through her and we get to ask her questions and she reminds us of our appointments and you know, it's, it's been, uh, been pretty nice. Yeah. And here we have our fireplace. Jim turns it on in the morning when he wakes up, if it's chilly and it really takes the Christmas coolness off in the morning. And that's nice. Yeah. It's electric. Saves a lot of propane when we use it. And then we have storage on each side. Ample room of storage. Yeah, it's pretty deep. And then, nope. then of course, we have the storage up here. With all of our stuff that we throw up there. <laughs> and you'll notice, too, that uh, we special ordered this coach and we ordered the uh, the elite wood balances and we just really like these balances they uh, they're clean they're they're 
good lines to them. They're very, very elegant looking. And uh, they don't get outdated, you know, like right. a cloth balance might. So we really enjoy that. Mm -hmm. We love the, the wood anyways. It's just beautiful. And then we also ordered this coach in the, the darker walnut color. Um, again, we're kind of old school. We like wood grains. We like wood tones. And it just feels very warm to us. I know a lot of the new coaches are coming out with light, almost a white finish to them. Um, but we like the we like the natural wood look. It's it's worked very well for us. The not another thing that DRV does is is they put um, soft ceilings in their coaches. It does a couple of things. It it uh, reduces any echo in the coach, and then. Uh, it also is an insulating factor. You also see that this is completely ducted air conditioning. So there's two AC units. There's one in the bedroom and one in the living area. And um, it works really, really well. And it's very, very quiet when it runs. So uh, another bonus. And next is our kitchen. It the island is one of my favorites. It's very long, very big. You can do a lot of preparing food here. And the sinks, the double sinks, the, the big sink is my favorite, the big with the little sink. Because you can wash any pot and pan in there that will fit in there nicely. You can fill up a pot. It fills up really nice. And it just works really well for us. And the dishwasher which is one of my favorites. I'll open it up. There's dirty dishes, so excuse the dirty dishes. We haven't run it yet today. And it's a drawer dishwasher, and it is an amazing dishwasher. It cleans. I've never had any issues with it. It works really well. And then below it is my plasticware drawer. And again, they're huge drawers. They're long and deep, which is a plus when you need to bring your cookware and they're soft clothes and they're soft clothes okay and the drawers are real long and and wide which is nice so you can see everything that you have fits everything that i need nicely i've opted out of the oven yeah I, we deleted the oven when we special ordered this coach all the years that we've been rving the 40 years that we've been rving i've used a, an oven maybe five times in all of our rvs so I thought, I'd rather have the drawer space. So we opted out, got three drawers for it. So that was really nice. My convection oven, it works really well. It doesn't get as hot as I like, unlike your sticks and bricks ovens, but hey, it works. And, um, and it's large. It's large. Yeah, I can get a 9 by 13 casserole dish in there, and, it's, and you can layer it because they have a, a rack you can put in there so you can add more things in there and you've got a lot of storage around the microwave yes you do yeah the other thing we really liked about this coach along with the uh, the darker wood was the backsplash that mm -hmm. that drv had during that time period you know the light gray really kind of accents the coach along with the countertops and we really really like that along with the same thing on the floor the flooring is is kind of a light brownish with with gray tones and uh, we we really enjoy it it just lightens it up yeah so this is our three burner propane and really i think i've only used two at, all, at a time all the time so if you ever have just a two i think that would be enough too <clears throat> And we have storage under the sink where our cleaning goods go and where I keep my um, convection cooktop is down. Yeah, the thing we're going to really miss about this, um, DRV put cupboards on, cupboard doors on both sides of the island mm -hmm. when we ordered this coach. And it's really nice to be able to get in there if you have to work on the plumbing or if you want to store something in yes. the back. It's really nice to be, be able to get in from the back side. But they're not doing that anymore. We're really going to miss that. Yeah. Another thing that's really nice is the garbage is right here in a drawer. 
You don't have to worry about sitting it out here, tripping over it. It's just right there. I can cook, throw my stuff in here, all the garbage, and close it, and you don't see it. So that is really nice. We got a lot of storage up here above the fridge. This is a smaller fridge than, than the new ones come out with. The new ones come out with the residential refrigerators. And so they are taller. But we opted, we actually special ordered this coach because we wanted a two-way fridge. We wanted the gas electric fridge for boondocking. Mm -hmm. all, of the, all of the models that we looked at when we were uh, shopping for this particular coach, they all had the re residential refrigerator. And so we had to special order this one in order to get the gas electric. And, and we've been really happy with it. It's, yeah. it's worked really, really yeah. well. Um, now Kelly wants a residential, and I think now that we've got the lithium batteries, we'll be able to support a, a residential yeah. fridge in our next coach. Just to have that extra freezer space and refrigerator space. But this one's kind of cool. It's got ice and water in the door. Mm-hmm. It then, does. And then uh, it's got plenty of space inside. It's a 13 cubic, 13 cubic foot Dometic. And yeah. it's got the stainless uh, finish on it. And as you it's can see, old. we've got all of the grandkids' artwork. I know, got to have us. the artwork. Just like if we were in our sticks and bricks. Mm-hmm. Love it. All right, over here, which is my coffee bar, which I love. I got to have a coffee bar. So we have our Berkey water purifier here, and then, of course, our Traeger, or Traeger, um, Keurig coffee maker. <laughs> and above here, we have extra storage and the pantry, which is very cool. This is our huge pantry, and this is what is really nice, is that you have your small appliances that you can put on here, and you can slide it out. It's a small appliance garage. So you throw, put them back there, you can grab them, and it's really easy to get. And well, we'll go down here, and it's the same storage drawer, which is really nice. I didn't have to leave my knives at home, which is really makes me or in our storage unit, which is really nice because I use them all. <laughs> and this is really heavy, so it shows you how sturdy this is. And of course, my air fryer. This is the kind of storage we're looking for in our new coach. Yeah. This is why we're so spoiled. Okay, well next is our eating area. We don't eat here very often. We have tables that we put up and we just eat right here at, at the, our chairs here. Um, this does come out, so you can opt to have, to buy more chairs, two more chairs, and so you can seat four. But it would be tight. It would be tight. Um, this is kind of cool. The seats come up. And so as you can see, it's my grandkids, our grandkids stuff. <laughs> These drawers here aren't the biggest, but you know, they hold a lot of little stuff. Down here is where our office supplies is. These storage containers are filled with everything we need, computer stuff and computer papers and, and whatnots. So, shall we go upstairs? Sure. Okay, follow me. This is the bathroom. So the bathroom's got a pocket door. Yes, it does. Ready? So you're not opening the door into the hallway, which is kind of nice. And there's mirrors on each side, up and down, so you can look at yourself and see how you look in, in the day. We have these little nooks here for first aid supplies, hair supplies, all my hair appliances and combs and brushes and everything. And this is where the washer and dryer usually would go. It's plumb for it, but we've decided to use this for a coat closet, paper goods section, and just, just to hold the things that we need to hold. And then the toilet's on the left side as you come in. Mm -hmm. Standard uh, RV gravity-fed toilet. And then the shower. It's pretty good size. It is a very good size. A lot of light. Got a bench. Mm -hmm. It's got the skylight. I need the skylight. Yes. But and he fits in there. He fit in there quite nicely. And then we just hang our towels. 
we put some uh, waterproof command hooks inside the shower and that's where we we hang our towels it's the best thing we've done i love it yeah <laughs> all right then we got the medicine cabinet it, ha it holds a lot it's big so that's nice and then of course we have storage down here and drawers we each have a drawer for toothbrushes toothpaste everything we need all right come into the bedroom it's very roomy spacious bedroom king-size bed we love the windows on each side so the cross breeze comes in and we like to open them up at night and get the air the fresh air in each of us have four drawers and they're not huge, but they work really well. You can put shorts in them, t-shirts, underwear, and socks. And that vanity is on its own slide. Mm -hmm. So it's about an eight or 10 inch slide. And it, uh, it doesn't have to go out, but it does give a lot more room in this bedroom Yeah. with, with it out. The other thing we like about this bedroom is even though we've got a king size bed, We've still got room to walk around the bed to make the bed. Mm -hmm. If you read our last blog post, you know that that's important to us. And so the, the space around the bed is, is very important to us it because it's, it's really a pain to try to make this, this king size bed. Okay, as I said before, this is a 38 RSSA is the model. Um, dry weight on the coach is 17,780. So just under 18,000 pounds dry. Fully loaded, the gross vehicle weight rating on this coach is 21,000 pounds, and I will tell you, we have had it weighed, and we're right at 21,000 pounds with a full load of water and all of our gear, so it's a pretty heavy coach. The nice thing about DRV is they put standard 17 and a half inch tires and wheels on standard with disc brakes. We upgraded our tires when our last ones wore out. We wore out a set of tires already, and so when we upgraded, I put on 235, 75, 17.5s. That gives me 6,005 pounds per tire weight carrying capacity, times four is over 24,000 pounds of weight carrying on these uh, tires. And as I say, the coach max is out at 21,000. We'll never hit 24. That just gives me a little bit more security um, in the in the bigger tire that I put on, and and it, it's. It's worked great. The nice thing about uh, DRV 38 RSSA is the storage capacity that you have inside. Um, huge belly storage. We opted for the um, we opted for the rolling storage tray. We put a full size refrigerator slant freezer, 12 volt 110 in here. That's where we carry our drinks. Uh, to keep them cold and uh, it works really really well inside here we've also got our solar equipment we've got the solar charge controller we've got the battery cutout switch the magnum 2800 uh, inverter and then the catastrophic fuse and then i've got also my uh, dc positive negative bus so everything comes into this positive negative bus here um, it's also got an auto gen start so we've got a 5500 watt propane generator on board and if the batteries get below a certain voltage it will automatically come on and um, that makes it really nice as well now some of you have asked about the lithium batteries that we installed when drv ships their coaches with four batteries they put an extra battery storage compartment in the front of the coach that's the normal battery storage compartment, and then they add another one here. So you can carry up to four golf cart batteries. I moved everything when we changed over to lithium. And now my batteries are on this rack that I built. It's just angle iron is all it is. And then I bolted it to the wall. I can carry eight lithiums on here. I, right now I've just got six. And that's how we put our battery storage in this coach. The other thing I really like about DRV is they put a whole house water filter in inside the basement. So 
If you watched our video when we left Yuma, I changed out our water filter. It's really super simple. It's just like a regular house. You just unscrew it, pull the filter out, rinse it out, put the new filter in, reinstall it, you're done. I also like the way that they build their water manifolds. I can shut off any water anywhere in the coach right from here. Makes it really, really nice. And this is all heated from the furnace. Uh, so nothing freezes. So with the DRV coach, they install a six point auto level system. This is cool. When you pull up, if you don't have one, if you've never used one, they're really cool. You, uh, you drop your jacks down, disconnect from the truck, push a button and it autos, auto levels itself all automatically. Two 40 pound propane tanks on a slide out tray, really easy to, to change out. I keep my wheel covers in here as well. Uh, then they've got the wet bay with the black and gray flush tank. And uh, that's about it. The other thing I like about DRV is everything is a full body paint with clear coat. Uh, no decals at all on this coach. It's all full body paint, full automotive paint with, uh, I don't remember how many layers of clear coat they put on here, but it's really easy to, to keep nice and clean and, and sharp looking. So it makes a big difference. So that's our home. It is. It's our beautiful home. 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's our home. And we're always together. And we're always together. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope that, uh, I hope you enjoyed the tour of our home. We really, really enjoy it. Now you can see why we're kind of spoiled on storage and living yeah, space. That's it's, true. it's a really comfortable coach. We really like the floor plan. The other thing we really like about this 38 RSSA is that when the slides come in, we can still get to the refrigerator, we can still get to the bathroom, and we can still get to the bedroom Absolutely. with all the slides in. And, and that was kind of important to us, and we're kind of looking for that in our next coach as well. Yeah. So thanks for hanging out with us. We hope you enjoyed the tour. So from Texas. It all starts with an idea. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you soon.